Hey guys, it's Crystal, and I just got back from the Microsoft event in New York City today. Well, you're probably gonna see this a day after, but you get what I mean. And my goodness, Microsoft released so many new things probably their biggest hardware announcement ever. So the first piece of hardware that they announced was a Surface Pro 6, which doesn't look too different from the Pro 5, except the fact that it comes in that gorgeous new matte black color. Like, it already looked gorgeous, but when I went hands-on with it, it looked even more beautiful in person. Like, it really, really looks so good. And as we know, the Surface Pro is Microsoft's tablet with the kickstand that turns into a little laptop with a signature type cover. But yeah, other than the new color, it also performs a little better with the latest 8th gen Intel Core processors. You can get an i5 or i7, and it's still, I mean, other than that, pretty much the same device. Like, it's still thin, it's still light. Display, touch display, still looks amazing. Starting price for the Surface Pro 6 is $899. And yeah, like I said before, like I'm not mad at the fact that it looks pretty much the same as last year's Pro 5 because it's a great design. I love the new color. I love that it performs better. But I did have a little bit of a revelation at the event with my friend Michael Fisher, AKA Mr. Mobile. He brought up that the Surface Pro 6 has no USB-C ports, which I mean, you would think that they could at least put one on there being that it's 2018. Why not, why not even? even one USB-C port. Which brings me to the next device that they announced, the Surface Laptop 2, which also has no USB-C ports anywhere. I mean, I know you can just get an adapter, but it just makes life easier having it on the device. It, everything transfers faster. It, I don't know, man. But besides that, no doubt, the Surface Laptop 2 is also a beautiful looking device. Again, not too different from last year's Surface Laptop with that same Alcantara material under the keys and where you rest your hands and the keyboard itself, it just feels great. The trackpad feels good. Overall, a really well-designed laptop that also comes in that beautiful new matte black color that I am obsessed with. I really like, I just can't wait to spend more time with it and compare it to a MacBook because just like the Surface Pro 6, we also see better performance out of the Surface Laptop 2 with the latest quad core 8th gen Intel processors that again you can also get in an i5 or i7 configuration and again just like last year we see that same tall looking touch display with that 3 to 2 aspect ratio and also amazing battery life on this laptop up to 14 and a half hours of use throughout your day which is just wonderful. And the next device that got an update was the Surface Studio. We now have the Surface Studio 2, which just like the previous two things that I just talked about, not a whole lot of difference going on the outside is all about the inside with this one too. Not even a new color or anything. No matte black is the same silver platinum color that we saw in the last one, which I feel like matte black with the Surface Studio 2 would have been cool to see. Like might have been interesting. I feel like Microsoft should have just, just done everything, like matte black everything. But yes, the Surface Studio 2 is more powerful with updated graphics cards, especially on the two terabyte model. And also no more hybrid drive. We now have a fully solid state drive. The only thing that didn't really make sense is that they didn't go with the latest eighth gen Intel Core processors. They stuck with the seventh gen. I don't know why they did that. Like they could have just made it the latest and greatest, but all around it is a more powerful and better performing device. That was an issue with the last one, like a lot of performance issues, it was laggy, but this one should be a lot better. The 28 inch display is also a lot brighter now, which really is something else when you get to see it in person because not only is it beautiful to look at, but there's so much that you can do with it. Like it's so versatile and you can just interact a lot with it with all the Surface accessories. But moving on from the Surface Studio 2, there is also new Surface headphones, which everybody was really excited to see because nobody was really expecting them. As soon as I saw them, my eyes lit up. I was like, whoa, wireless, Bluetooth, noise canceling, over ear headphones by Microsoft. So they do have Cortana built in. They look great, they feel great. They sounded pretty good from the time I had with them. And what's cool with them is that they have touch control so you can tap to pause a song, double tap to go to the next song, triple tap to go back. There's also a slider on both ears. So you can slide and twist the ears 
to control different things. On the right ear, you get a volume control. You can go up and down with the volume. And on the left ear is pretty cool because you can control the amount of noise cancellation that you want. So you can turn it all the way up or all the way down to ambient sound and hear what's going on around you. And there's also a USB-C charging port, even though we didn't see it in all the other stuff, we do see it here along with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, just so you can make them wired if you want them to. Price point for these is around $350, which is right around the price for all the other headphones of that category. And that pretty much wraps up all the new hardware that we saw at Microsoft's event. Let me know in the comments what you guys were most excited to see and what do you guys wanna see more of on this channel? Let me know below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later.